Lawrence Fishburne belongs to an elite group of celebrated actors. He has starred in countless projects, including Apocalypse Now, Boys in the Hood, and The Matrix films. He also took home a Tony Award for the play Two Trains Running and an Academy Award nomination for his portrayal of Ike Turner in What's Love Got to Do With It. While Lawrence is well respected by his fans and his peers, he has faced some humiliating and disrespectful moments by the ones he loves the most. This video definitely requires something to munch on, so head on over to rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of turkey, brisket, and bacon jerky, cinnamon toast crunch popcorn, and chili lime peanuts. In 1985, Lawrence married an actress named Hajna Moss. They welcomed two children, Langston, who was born in 1987, and their daughter Montana was born in 1991. By the time Lawrence gave a 1993 interview to the New York Times, he and Hajna were separated. Speaking on Lawrence's behalf, Martin Sheen, who's also Montana's godfather, told the publication that the separation was a very painful situation for Lawrence. By the mid-90s, the Augusta, Georgia native was legally divorced and focused on his career. In 1999, he appeared as Morpheus in The Matrix, one of the best sci-fi films of all time. In 2001, they began production on the sequels, and that's when Lawrence met actress Gina Torres. They got engaged that same year, and in September 2002, 33-year-old Gina and 41-year-old Lawrence became husband and wife. In 2007, they welcomed their daughter, Delilah, and things were quiet for the Fishburne family for a while, up until his daughter, Montana, started making headlines. TMZ reported that in November 2009, Montana was arrested for attempting to sell her body. She pled no contest to a lesser charge of trespassing and was placed on probation. Then, in February 2010, she was locked up for putting her hands on her boyfriend's ex-girlfriend. According to TMZ, Lawrence paid for Montana's lawyer so she could beat the case and get her life back on track. Instead of heading down the straight and narrow path, 18-year-old Montana teamed up with Vivid Entertainment, and six months later, they announced the release of her intimate video. And why would the daughter of a Hollywood superstar have to resort to that kind of profession? Well, Montana told Today.com that after experiencing her first time at the age of 16, she fell in love with intimacy. And then, after seeing how successful Kim Kardashian became when she released her intimate footage with Ray J, Montana decided to follow Kim's pathway to success in hopes that she could further her career in Hollywood as well. Montana adopted the stage name Chippy D and got down to business. In an act of desperation, Lawrence and his famous friends reportedly reached out to Vivid Entertainment and offered to purchase each and every copy of the DVD, which added up to millions of dollars. According to TMZ, Lawrence's friends also hired attorney Yale Gallanter to handle the transaction. Unfortunately, by the time Yale reached out to Vivid exec Steve Hirsch, the DVDs had already been shipped out. After the video's release, Montana told TMZ that her mom was worried but supportive. But as for her dad, she hadn't spoken to him, but she heard that he was very upset. Montana added, I think he wants to support me in everything I do, and though he sees this now as a negative, I believe in time he will view it as a positive. She also confirmed she never told her dad about her new career, and he found out the news at the same time as the rest of the world. Eventually, she reached out to her dad and he reportedly told her she was unwelcome in his life until she made some changes. He was also reportedly upset that she used her famous last name in the video credits, which added to his embarrassment. Getting on her dad's bad side wasn't her only issue. Weeks after the video was shipped to stores, adult actor Brian Pumper released a DVD called Fatty's Rhymes and Dimes 14 that featured unauthorized footage of him and Montana. Montana got her lawyers involved to stop Brian from profiting off of their personal videos. Now, if all that isn't crazy enough, one month after all this went down, Montana was shipped off to an inpatient program. 
According to TMZ, she, quote, decided to spend at least 30 days at a facility in Southern California to work out some issues. After her adult career fizzled, an online website reported Montana was spotted dancing at a Houston gentleman's club. We can't confirm what she's up to as of this video, aside from the fact that she's rather flexible on her Instagram account. Despite the issues with Montana, things between Lawrence and Gina were going great. They even worked together in 2013 when they appeared on NBC's Hannibal. But in 2015, Lawrence was pulled back into some mess. His 80-year-old mom, Hattie Fishburne, reached out to the New York Post and claimed she last spoke to her son a year prior when his dad, Lawrence Fishburne Sr., passed away. Hattie said she was living off of her $3,000 per month Social Security benefits and had fallen behind on her $1,500 per month rent. She also stated she received an eviction notice from her apartment complex. Hattie added, For 20 years I funded my son's career. He promised me he would take care of me. He promised me a house, a golden retriever, a calico cat. To this day I have not got a Christmas present or a thank you mama present. The media immediately felt bad for her. And who wouldn't? A mother who sacrificed so much for her son, only for him to make it big and turn his back on her, is a salacious story that gossip magazines love to eat up. But here at RRG, we're more than just gossip, and it's time for the world to know the truth. Based on court docs obtained by RRG, perhaps Lawrence's relationship with his mom was a bit strained at the time. And it appears that her claim that they weren't in contact is accurate. However, Lawrence was still financially taking care of her at the time she reached out to media outlets about her upcoming eviction. By the end of 2015, she was indeed evicted from her apartment for failure to pay her rent. Adult Protective Services were called to help remove Hattie from the premises. They went through her belongings and found a stack of uncashed cashier checks made out to her landlord. A physician later determined that Hattie was mentally impaired. She was having trouble taking care of her personal needs and would forget to pay her bills, although she had plenty of funds and Lawrence was sending her money as well. She was transferred to an assisted living facility and Lawrence footed the bill. The media didn't report this information though because it wasn't as juicy as the inaccurate reports of him turning his back on his mom. RRG can confirm that as Hattie's only child, Lawrence was given the opportunity to act as her conservator. He declined the duties but still agreed to pay for the assisted living and any other miscellaneous bills. The role of conservator was then given to a man named James Sullivan. RRG is unable to confirm his relationship with the Fishburne family. While Lawrence's lawyers handled the details of the conservatorship case, Gina stepped back from her acting gigs. In September 2016, she told the New York Times she quit her role on the show Suits because she needed to tend to her personal life. A year later, she was spotted playing tonsil hockey with someone else. The man was identified as Kevin Wright, a Utah entrepreneur and solar energy investor. Sources told Page Six Gina met Kevin on the beach in Dana Point, California sometime around August 2017. An insider added, I think Gina finds in Kevin what she couldn't find in Lawrence. He's the opposite of a Hollywood guy. He's just a cowboy type. But did Gina let Lawrence know she was ready to ride her cowboy off into the sunset? Or was he just as surprised as the rest of us when the photos hit the internet? According to court docs obtained by RRG, Lawrence and Gina had been separated since October 2016, a whole year prior to Gina meeting her new boo. Apparently, Lawrence and Gina were trying to iron out the details of their split before letting the public know that their marriage was over. But the cat was out of the bag and the photos lit a fire under them to finally tie up loose ends. Lawrence filed for divorce in November 2017, citing irreconcilable differences. He asked for joint legal and physical custody of their daughter, who was 10 at the time, and asked the judge to block either of them from receiving spousal support. Their divorce was finalized in May 2018 and their settlement was kept confidential. 
Gina went public with Kevin in January 2019 by inviting him to the premiere of the film Miss Bala. As of this video, she and her cowboy are still going strong. Lawrence stepped out with a new woman in December 2018 at the Marrakech International Film Festival, and that whole incident was another messy and embarrassing moment for the veteran actor. Online sources immediately identified the woman as 44-year-old Bronwyn Ann Moylan, and at the time, she was still legally married to her husband of 15 years, 81-year-old Reverend Richard Dannenfelser. A source told an online website that Bronwyn met Lawrence decades ago at an acting class, and they had recently reconnected. The insider added that the Reverend wanted to confront Lawrence about hooking up with his wife, but he chickened out and allowed his lawyers to handle the communication instead. That little situation didn't last long, and as of this video, Lawrence is back on the market and has been accompanied to red carpet events by his daughter, Delilah. In June 2022, he expressed an interest in giving love another shot by telling Page Six, Eventually, I would like to date, but there is nobody in particular on my radar. As much as Lawrence has gone through, we hope he finds someone who can bring unconditional love, peace, and stability into his life. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below, and thanks for watching RRG.